I'm interested in asking questions and making observations about complex relationships and including complex relationships that involve the transfer of power, of energy, of work. And as an illustration, I like to use this little pendulum. It's a simple stick pendulum with a piece of lath um, swinging on a skateboard bearing so it swings easily. And it's a simple system, pretty predictable. We understand cause and effect. It's, we can make a fairly accurate model, mathematical model of this and use it to give pretty good predictions. And it's a simple system. But very few of our serious challenging issues are simple systems. For example, coronavirus, or systemic racism, or climate change, or soil health and human health, or the way our economic system appears to enhance inequality and grow it. So these systems are complex. They involve relationships of power, sometimes between unequally powerful entities and they involve interdependence and complexity. And so to illustrate that, I'm going to add a shorter, lighter segment to this pendulum. Also, pivoting on a skateboard bearing. And let's take a look at the behavior that results. I think we can see that this is probably no longer a purely simple system. The dog wags the tail and the tail wags the dog, so to speak. And there's mutual influence, mutual um, feedback. The rotations and the momentum of the small segment influence the period and the oscillation of the larger segment and vice versa. What kind of observations can we make about this thing? Well, one of the observations that I would like to pay attention to is the number of times that we have a of a that we have a clockwise flip of the smaller segment. So let's count that. I'm going to start with as close to a right angle as I can get here and try to make a consistent release from a starting position. You think it's done flipping? Well, I counted three that time. Let's try it again. That time I counted two. Do I need more practice? Do I need quality control? I only counted one that time. 
This is a, a complex or a chaotic system and from the same starting position I've counted as many as 14 and to zero and anywhere in between. And slight variations in the starting position can probably result in large variations in the count of clockwise flips, for example. But I think this, this illustrates the complexity of looking at systems of energy and power and where we observe what's most easily observable, in this case the symptoms or the parts of the whole system as manifested in the small segment here. In other words, I may have been asking not a very good question. Obviously the, the behavior of this small segment helps us begin to understand maybe a larger picture but we often concentrate exclusively on this because it's easy to observe. We have the equipment, the apparatus, the eyes, the counting to observe it. But it may be only a small part or a symptom of what's going on in the larger system. And I think we can analogize this to, for example, this larger segment might, be, might represent the water cycle, which has a huge amount of solar energy moving water through its various phases versus, say, the carbon cycle driven by photosynthesis and it's a much smaller partitioning of solar energy but it's, in a sense, easier to observe and easier to concentrate on. Any kind of power relationship where there's a, a, a joint or a fulcrum between possibly two different categories or areas of concern might behave this way. For example, economics, Walmart versus your downtown re retailer. A social, ethnic, ethnic or racial majority versus a minority. And there's mutual influence, interdependence. We know what the effects, we, we can look at the some of the effects on the small segment but we may not have the right question to ask about the whole system, about the larger segment. So economics, society, ecosystem, I think this is a representative of the distribution and the partitioning of energy and power that goes into it. And I may not know how to ask the right questions here. but it probably has something to do with the partitioning of energy and power from the large segment to the small segment and then back again. There's that mutual interdependence, mutual feedback, and mutual influence that's very important and we need to learn how to question that and observe it. Thanks for watching.